Hello investors, I'm Jerry Romine and in today's video I'm covering the $93,793 of stock I bought this week. My father always said money talks and BS walks, so today I thought I would show you one full week of trading. Today's video is brought to you by Webull where you get two free stocks worth up to $1,850 just for signing up and funding your account with $100. Be sure to use the link down below and we both get free stocks. Alright, and also be sure to like and subscribe to the page and then grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's kick things off with a success story from Edgar Komen. Wow, Ampi is up 7% already. Thank you, Jerry. Now this was a hot stock play that we had on Ampi and it went up almost overnight 7%. Can't beat that. And Just Do It has another testimonial for us. Ruby from Hot Stocks went up 51.98% after hours. Our hot stocks are a source of consistent winning stocks like Ampi and Ruby and we're lucky because many of them pop right after we buy them. Why are hot stocks so hot? Well, it's because there's a lot that goes into the secret sauce of my proprietary proprietary scans that find them and they are making many of us very wealthy. If you really want to take your investing to the next level, join my Patreon for the daily hot stocks trade alert and to model my high growth portfolios. If you missed my video, Bull Market Start Loading Up Now from earlier this week, it details the seven reasons why I've switched from being apprehensive and concerned to where I'm now starting to buy and load the boat. I've had a lot of cash on the sidelines and at the end of the week I started to do what I call bottom fishing deal hunting and I've bought a lot of smaller feeler positions and I plan on buying more. Before I cover the stocks I bought, I want to share a few thoughts. Number one, the markets are still volatile and as long as we are going two steps forward and one step back, we're making progress. Number two, I'm starting to buy high growth stocks that have had corrections of 20% or more. For some of these, I might be entering a little early with higher risk and I plan to really load up when I get stronger buy setups. And I'll point out some of those in the videos today. Number three, I'll be going over the stocks much faster than usual today. My goal is to show you what I'm looking at and hopefully expose you to some winners that you have not seen before. And number four, I have over seven figures in the market and today you're going to see a lot of smaller positions and I'm happy to show you how I'm easing into a volatile market. Market. If you are starting off with $1,000, $5,000, or $10,000, it's completely okay to start off with small positions and work your way up. I know some new investors feel ashamed because they can only afford just a few shares of a stock and I'm here to tell you that it's completely okay to start small. With proper risk and money management, small accounts grow into huge accounts. Without further ado, let's go over the stocks. Our first stock is Ampi and you can see I bought 128 shares and my total cost was $501.76. And for my new viewers, let me go over the charting base. At the top here, I've got a custom label that I put on it, and you can get that in my Discord on the education channel for free. And then over here, we've got the PMC indicator, and generally the best time to buy is when you're in the blue, especially right as it's crossing over what's called the zero line. And then on the MACD down here, we've got a standard MACD indicator that's running on a 12269, which is standard. And then I've got the arrows set up, and this is what I call red light, green light. And if it's in the red light, that's normally an area where you want to wait to buy. If it's in a green light, that's a go signal, especially at the beginning so you can play red light green light with the stocks and hopefully that helps out a little bit. Now looking at Ampi here we can see that we've got a channel. We recently bought it and they had a lot of insider buying right here in this time frame and that's normally a bullish indicator. They had earnings that came out and they missed it by a mile and dropped and then yesterday they traded back up and they finished the day 7.53 percent higher. So if we look at this right here this is the channel and they're still trading in the channel so that's a good sign and now we've got to see how they recover. Next, we have Ontario Resources, and if we look at my labeler here, we can see in the last week, they're up 3.64%. In the last month, 21.9%. Over three months, an impressive 133%. Six months, 286%. And one year, 830%. And this stock, I believe, is severely undervalued. If you look at their chart, beautiful slope. I mean, it's doing absolutely awesome. And here's the kicker. I bought this stock at one half of the book value, actually less than one half of the book value. And for me, this is a long-term hold and this company is expected to go profitable big time in the next year. Here we have ARKG, which is the ARK Invest Genomic Revolution. And this is a stock that I really believe in. My total cost on this is $2,051. And if we look at the technicals right here, they have broken down. We've got a double top, which is bearish. It's came down quite a bit. We had a MACD crossover. So these technicals right here are not looking good. And we're also well below the zero line on both of these. So this is an example of one that I may have gotten into on the early side. And I'm okay with that because I really believe in this stock for the long term. The safer 
play on this is to wait for crossovers here and for it to get close or cross back over these zero lines and for it to be trading above both the 20 and the 50 day moving average. Ideally, we want this channel to resume. Number four is the ARK Innovation ETF, ARKK. I'm in that for $2,057. And again, same story as the last one in a little bit early here, but I believe in the stock. We're going alphabetical, so our next and last ARK Invest is the ARKW, and you can see I took two positions on this, and that's because I have multiple different accounts that have different purposes. For example, I've got long-term investing accounts, I've got Roth IRAs, uh, I have a Roth 401k, lots of different accounts, so I buy in different accounts, another stock that I really believe in, and this one's actually looking a little bit better. It has broken down almost to the 200-day moving average, but it's coming back nicely, and again, the ideal optimal position will be whenever this strengthens up right down here. Number six is Atlanticus Holdings, ticker ATLC, and they're a consumer finance company, and they've got a really good net profit margin. I believe it's 28%. They had crazy revenue growth last year, and they're growing by another 20% this year. And if we look at the technicals here, these look much better. This is what we're looking for right here. We had a crossover on the PMC. We had a MACD crossover with a nice little green arrow telling us that's a good time to get in. And if we look at the charts up here, we had another buy signal right here, one of mine, and look what the stock is doing. Number seven is ticker BATT, and this is the Amplify ETF for lithium and battery, and this is an EV play. Again, the technicals have broken down. The optimal entry point is going to be back up here on a crossover, and it's just about to cross over these two lines, and we want to see this channel resume. And our blue line here is a 20-day moving average. The red is the 50, and the white is the 200, and my preference is to use exponential moving averages whenever possible. Number eight is Boyd Motor Company, ticker BYDDY. I'm in this one for $1,039, and this is a company that I really like. I've got multiple positions in it, and these guys are an EV company that's out of China, and they're one of the better EV companies that's up and coming over there right now. Number nine is Cleveland Cliffs, and I'm in this one for $2,989, and this is a U.S. steel company, and one thing that's really interesting with them is they just brought all of their operations in-house where they source all of their own materials. They bought up the companies they needed to do that, and that should take this company to the next level. I'm pretty excited about this one, and if we look at the technicals here, things are really starting to pop right here where they're starting to look good, and this line up here, this is our volume, so we're trading on just barely above average volume. We would like to see that a little bit higher, but but things are starting to look good here. The next level of resistance will be beating that previous high of $18.77. Number 10 is CleanSpark ticker CLSK. And these guys have energy software and control technology. And I expect these guys are going to be a beast moving forward. They're in a really good niche. If we look at the technicals here, they're just okay. We've lost that upward trend. It's gone ahead and closed out and gone sideways. So we really need to see this continue back. And again, this is a company that I believe in. And that's why I'm willing to get it now a little bit early with a small position. As it strengthens, I plan on adding more positions to this one. And I already have plenty of other positions in it as well. Number 11 is Callan Petroleum, and they are a petroleum and gas company. And these guys have been on fire in the last year. They're up 621%. And if you're big on oil and you think it's going to do well and continue to rise like I am, this is definitely a stock that you want to consider. And I'm in this one for $2,007. For number 12, we've got Danos Corporation, ticker DAC, and this is one of the world's largest container ship companies. So if you think of those big 40-foot containers that are shipped sea freight all around the world, well, that's what these guys do, and they're one of the biggest. This company has been very kind to me, made uh, some nice profits on it. Currently in them with a couple of positions. In the last year, they're up 1,075%. Number 13 is Enphase Energy, ticker ENPH, and they're one of the leaders in home energy solar systems, and they also build the microinverters. In fact, they sent out about 20 million of them to many first world countries around the world. So uh, yeah, they're definitely doing okay. If we look at their technicals, they have broken down, and hopefully they're going to be coming back strong. So this is a position in that I'm a little early on right now, and I'm hoping it goes back up because I believe in the company. Number 14 is Energy Recover, ticker ERII, and I have a starter position on this for five hundred dollars even on this one and you can see they're up what 170 percent in the last year they've got a very good net income margin they're a profitable company low pe and they've got really good revenue growth you want to go to energy recovery's website so you can see exactly what they do because this one's a tough one to explain but this is definitely a stock that i like and it gives you some diversification as well for 15 is ewbc this is east west bank and i'm in them for three thousand and twenty one dollars if you look at their chart this is absolutely beautiful 
a perfect upward channel trading just above the 20 day moving average. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And I've got quite a few different bank stocks. Again, they're up what? 125% in six months to last month, 16.41%. These guys are just printing slow and steady money as are many of the bank stocks for me right now. Number 16 is FUV Archimoto. This is a US EV company and they make a lot of one seater EV vehicles. A lot of them look like a three wheeled motorcycle. And if you're a real motorcycle guy like me, they're ugly as hell. Uh, right now I'm actually in a Fox Jersey. And for those of you that don't know, I also toured South America five months on a KLR 650 from Kawasaki. Love motorcycles. I'm hoping to go to India this year and do the Himalayas as well. On this one, I'm in it at $510.25. And this is one of my custom buy signals that I really like. So I took a small position on this one. From a technical standpoint, I am early. Number 17 is Grow Generation, ticker GRWG. I'm in this position at $1,024. And these guys are like the Home Depot, except they serve the MJ industry. Um, I mean, I've heard from people that have been to their stores. It's like a Home Depot, literally for MJ growers. They have all kinds of things. They have custom designers on staff to help you design anything you want, set up the systems. Pretty impressive as I understand it. And I'm really big on MJ stocks for 2021, especially with possible legalization. Number 18 is Gush. And this this is an ETF for oil and gas and it's 2X and that means it's leveraged. So if you're not used to leveraged ETFs, you definitely want to check them out because it means when things are going great, it goes twice as well for you. And when things are going bad, well, it's twice as bad. So there is definitely more risk if you're dealing with a leveraged ETF or a leveraged anything. On this one, I've got what about $2,500 in a couple of different positions. And I'm showing this on a four hour chart because you really need to drill it down by the hour or even smaller so you can get a good idea of just how well this stock is doing whenever you're looking at the upward trend that it's in. I mean, it's doing very, very well. Uh, we just got a PMC crossover down here. Our MACD is a little bit of a divergence here, but I definitely like oil. I love where it's going. And in what, the last month, this one's up 1.5%. Over three months, it's up 25%. And over six months, up 93%. Number 19 is another strong bank that I really like, GWB, Great Western Bank. And what, I'm in this one with about $2,600. If you look at the chart, absolutely beautiful. What's not to like? Great strong bank, over six months, up 154%. Number 20 is one of four penny stocks that I bought for my penny stock portfolio that we're going to be tracking. And this is new. This one is Lee Enterprises, ticker LEE. -E. They've got a low PE ratio. They are a profitable company. And this starter position is $502. Number 21 is Inari Medical, ticker N-A-R-I, and these guys deal with vein diseases and they specialize in removing blood clots. They are a profitable company. They've got very good revenue growth and they're currently priced below their intrinsic and the analyst estimated value. This is a bit of a higher risk play, so definitely do your research on this one. And for this company, I'm currently in it at $1,250. Number 22 is NEO. This is the EV company. I've got a lot of positions in them. Just doing a little bit of bargain hunting on them. Picked up 22 shares for one $1,011. From a technical standpoint, they are breaking down. They just came down and bounced off that 200 day moving average. And these little lines right here on my chart, this lets me know that the RSI is oversold. I do expect this company to reach $80 this year. And I plan on buying more shares, especially as the technical strengthen. Number 23 is NMCI, Navios Maritime Containers. And this is another profitable sea freight company. And if you look at this chart, oh my goodness, absolute beautiful here, man. This thing is so sexy. Going right above that 20 day moving average, touched it a couple times, bounces off it and keeps on going. Now, for those of you that are worried about buying at an all time high, it's currently at $8.74. Well, at least this is the high for the last six months and most likely for the last year. Just ask yourself, if you would have bought any time in the last six months, you would have been at a high. And it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And this is where the saying, the trend is your friend comes from. So we're in a beautiful upward trend. Love this stock and definitely one you want to consider. As long as it's hot, let it ride. Number 24 is the Clean Energy ETF, PBW. And this one has treated me really well. Love this stock. And I just took advantage of buying a little bit on the beat down. Still a little bit early on the technicals, but that's okay. Plan on buying more. Just a small position, $1,085. Number 25 is Palantir, ticker PLTR. And I'm in this one for $3,500. And with a couple different positions, I'm building out multiple positions on it very slowly as it grows. And for the long term, I think this company could be a two, three, five X company on your money. It's unbelievable what they're doing. They specialize in big data analytics. They're working with governments. They're working with Amazon, counterterrorism, all kinds of different things. Definitely do your due diligence and research on this company. But this is one that I'm very big on for the long term. Number 
26 is QEP Resources, ticker QEP. I'm in this one at $504. Uh, we've been tracking them for a while. It is a penny stock, currently trading at $4.19. In the last six months, it's up 325%. In the last year, it's up 686%. We can see a couple of upward trends and channels are drawn on the charts here. And here's the killer thing about this stock. It is available at less than one half of the book value. Do you think oil's going up? If you do, here's a good stock to check out. All right, we're in the home stretch now. Number 27, only 10 left to go. This is Signature Bank, ticker SBNY, and this is a bank that I love. Let's see, you can see I've got, what, about $15,000 that I bought this week on this stock. In the last three months, they're only up 90%. In the last six months, 162%. Not too shabby. Got a beautiful looking chart trading right over that 20-day moving average. Anytime they come down to it, good opportunity to buy. Number 28 is ticker SM, which is SM Energy, another oil and natural gas play. If you like that sector, another one to consider. I'm in this one at $2,004. And let's see, in the last month, they're up 56%, three months, 238%, six months, 937%, and one year, almost 1,000%. So absolutely crazy gains if you think oil's coming back. And I did some oil videos earlier this week. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty bullish on the oil sector. Number 29 is Scott's Miracle Grow, ticker SMG, and I consider this an indirect MJ play because so many people that deal in the MJ, well, they use Miracle Grow. This position is $2,008. If we look at the charts, it's got a nice upward trend, but it's closed out. They dropped almost down to that 200-day moving average. We've got an RSI oversold here, and now they're starting to bounce back up. So I'm in a little bit early. I expect this rise to continue. Again, long-term company that I do like. Number 30 needs no introduction. Test Tesla, ticker TSLA, bought one whopping share for $700.98. And this one went into my Roth 401k. And one of the nice things about this is I can contribute more to this than I can my Roth IRA. Tesla is currently bouncing off the 200-day moving average. And from a technical standpoint, it's a little on the weak side. If you believe in this long term, you know what to do. We're now looking at UCO, which is another crude oil ETF. It is leveraged 2X, so that means it can work twice as well for you and twice as well against you, so be very careful. This one, I've got 16 shares in at $963. And one thing I want to point out here is we are looking at a four-hour chart. Wanted to show you the nice slope up on it. And my labels, they only work on the day chart, so these numbers are not accurate. In fact, over three months, this one is actually up about 90%. So for the labels, make sure it's on a one day chart if you're reading them. Number 32 is U.S. Concrete, ticker USCR. This is a $2,005 position, and they had huge insider buying on 310. So this is a profitable stock and one that I wanted to play for the insider buying. We're going to see where it goes. Number 33 is Vale, ticker V-A-L-E. This is a $1,008 position. Might be in a little bit early on this. I'm expecting that upward trend to continue. Here we had a bit of an upward channel. It was broken. It's now going sideways. So right now it's kind of in a little bit of no man's land, but I've been wanting to get Vail for some time. I remember watching it rise up here. It was too much too fast and I kept on passing on it. And these guys are the world's largest iron ore company. They're out of Brazil. They've got strong revenue growth and they've got a nice net income margin. If you're looking for diversity, this is definitely a stock to consider. Number 34 is W&T Offshore, another oil play, ticker WTI. And this position is $501. And this is one of the penny stocks I added to my penny stock portfolio. 35 is XPeng, ticker XPEV. And this is one that I am overall down on. They have tanked. They got some new financing a while back. They are very, very oversold right now. And I wanted to put these in one of my other smaller portfolios. So I picked up three shares for a total of $104.52. At that being said, I still think XPEV could do some big things this year and hopefully it gets started soon because right now it's making me look pretty bad. And our final stock on the day is XRT, which is a retail ETF. It's equal weighted and the ticker is, of course, XRT. And I'm in this one at $2,062. This one has been performing very well, slow and steady as she goes. In the last month, up 18%, three months, 52%, six months, 87%. So a real nice, safe ETF for the retail industry. And as the economy start to get back on track, I expect retail to do better and better. So this is just a nice, safe, diversified play. If you have any questions for me, please drop them down below and I'll answer them in the next video. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe to this one so you don't miss the next one. And check out my Patreon to take your investing to the next level. Peace.